first we define the complex number so first we define complex number what is complex number complex number is the ordered pair of real number that is a comma b where a is belongs to r and b belongs to r now ordered pair means ordered means a comma b that is a comma b equal to b comma a unless a equal to b so any ordered pair of real number we call the complex number such set of ordered pair a comma b where a b belongs to r we consider the set of complex number that is c here addition and multiplication is defined by a comma b plus a2 comma b2 equal to a1 plus a2 comma b1 plus b2 and next we define the multiplication such as a1 comma b1 multiplication a2 comma b2 is equal to a1 a2 minus b1 b2 and a1 b2 plus b1 a2 here a comma b in first real number we call the real part of complex number and second we call the complex by imaginary part of complex number any complex number z is written as a plus ib here a is the first component and b is the second component if we consider two dimension coordinate system then here origin a comma b that is the point if a comma b then it is a and is b if we consider the distance from origin to a comma b b r and if the angle with theta then a equal to r cos theta and b equal to r sin theta where r square equal to a square plus b square and theta equal to tan inverse b by a so any complex number z equal to a plus b where a equal to r cos theta and b equal to r sin theta so a equal to r cos theta if we put the value of a and b of polar system then a equal to r cos theta plus i and b is r sin theta now r cos theta plus i sin theta r is the modulus value of z and cos theta plus i sin theta we know that e to the power i theta means cos theta plus i sin theta so if we put the value of e to the power i theta so cos theta plus i sin theta means e to the power i theta so any complex number z we can written as a z equal to r e to the power i theta where r is called the modulus value of z 
and it is written as r equal to mod z and theta will be called the amplitude of the complex number z. So, any complex number z we can written as a plus i b where a is the real part and b is the imaginary part or any complex number z can be written as r e to the power i theta where r equal to the modulus of the complex number and r is here r square root of a square plus b square. So, modulus of the complex number is the square root of real part square plus imaginary part square and amplitude of z equal to theta and that is tan inverse b by a. Now, we will introduce the stereographic projection of complex number for unit sphere. Here we will prove that the for all values of unit sphere for all the point of unit, unit sphere will will one to one correspondence with the R2 by XY plane or complex plane. If we draw a unit sphere here north pole and it is south pole. Now if we draw the equator, equator means equator is a unit circle. Since the sphere is unit sphere, so the equator is unit circle. Here the origin of the sphere. Now north pole that is in the coordinate system the coordinate of north pole equal to 0, 0, 1. If we consider it is z axis it will be x axis and it is y axis. Now if we consider the here x y plane such as Now we draw from north pole to xy plane and that point the coordinate of this point be x comma y comma 0 since this point on the r2 or xy plane it is np. So, let the line NP touches the unit sphere at that point. If we let that point be S and that coordinate will be Xi1, Xi2, Xi3. Since the point S belongs to on the unit sphere, so xi1 square plus xi2 square plus xi3 square equal to 1 since the point xi1, xi2, xi3 on the unit sphere. Now we we'll let the li line segment NP, the line segment NP touches the unit square at the point S. If we let S divide NP in the ratio 1 is to M, then so by formula xi1 equal to x into 
वन मल्टीप्लाई वन प्लस एम मल्टीप्लाई जीरो बाय वन प्लस एम सिंस द रेशियो बी वन इस टू एम नाउ आधार कोऑर्डिनेट्स आर जाइ टू इक्वल टू वाइ इनटू वन प्लस एम इनटू जीरो बाय वन प्लस एम नेक्स्ट the coordinate xi3 equal to 0 into 1 plus m into 1 by 1 plus m that is equal to x into 1 means x by 1 plus m y into 1 y plus m into 0 0 y by 1 plus m and next m by 1 plus m. Now we find the one to one correspondence between any point on unit sphere with any point on R2 or xy plane or complex plane. Now since xi1 equal to x by 1 plus m, xi2 equal to y by 1 plus m and xi3 equal to m by 1 plus m and xi1 square plus xi2 square plus xi3 square equal to 1. So if we put the value of xi1, xi2 and xi3 in this then we get xi1 square means x square by 1 plus m whole square plus y square by 1 plus m whole square plus m square by 1 plus m whole square equals to 1. Next we simplify the value of m in terms of x and y such as x square plus y square equal plus m square equals to 1 plus m whole square. Next, if we simplify x square plus y square plus m square equal to 1 plus m whole square that is 1 plus 2m plus m square. Next, x square plus y square equal to 1 plus 2m. Since m square subtract both sides then x square plus y square plus minus 1 equal to 2m that is m equal to x square plus y square minus 1 by 2. Next, if we put the value of m, but here is 1 plus m. So, 1 plus m means x square plus y square minus 1 by 2 plus 1. That is 2 here and x square plus y square plus 1. Then, if we put the value of m and 1 plus m here, then we get xi1, xi2, xi3 in terms of x and y. So, xi1 equals to x by 1 plus m. That is 1 plus m means x square plus y square plus 1 by 2. xi1 equal to x by 1 plus m. So, xi1 equal to 2x by x square plus y square plus 1. Same xi2 equal to 2y by x square plus y square plus 1. Again the if we put the value of m and 1 plus m in here then z xi3 equal to x square plus y square minus 1 
by x square plus y square plus 1. Here we get the any values of x, y, any values of x, y in R2. We get the value of xi1, xi2, xi3. That means for any values of x, y, we get the value on unit sphere. So here one to one correspondence between S xi1, xi2, xi3, it is arbitrary point. So G, since it is arbitrary, the any point on S corresponding to x, y, we get the xi1, xi2, xi3. Now we find the converse part that is any point on unit sphere any point on unit sphere we get the value of x and y on r so if we simplify xi3 equal to x square plus y square minus 1 xi3 by x square plus y square minus then xi3 plus 1 by xi3 minus 1 means x square plus y square minus 1 plus x square plus y square plus 1 by x square plus y square minus 1 minus x square minus y square minus 1. Cancel out 1 minus 1 x square x square y square then xi3 plus 1 by xi3 minus 1 equal to minus of x square plus y square. That is x square plus y square means 1 plus xi3 by 1 minus xi3. But our need x square plus y square plus 1 that is 1 plus xi3 1 minus xi3 plus 1 1 minus xi3 1 plus xi3 plus 1 minus xi3 so it will be 2 by 1 minus xi3 now we put the value of x square plus y square plus 1 2 by 1 minus xi3 how x xi1 equal to 2x by x square plus y square plus 1 x square plus y square plus 1 equal to 2 by 1 minus xi3 that is xi1 equal to 2x by 2 by 1 minus xi3 the values of x square plus y square plus 1 that is x into 1 minus xi3 and x equal to xi1 by 1 minus xi3 and similarly xi2 equal to y into 1 minus xi3 and that is y equal to xi2 by 1 minus xi3. So, we find so any point on unit sphere xi1, xi2, xi3 we get the point on xy plane or complex plane that is xi1 by 1 minus xi3. So, we can write z1, xi1, xi2, xi3 is goes to two dimension plane x equal to xi1 by 1 minus xi3 and y xi2 by 1 minus xi3. That is any point on unit sphere 
we get the point xi1 by 1 minus xi3 and xi2 by 1 minus xi3 it is the point on xy plane but every point on unit sphere we get the image on xy plane but the point for north pole 0 0 1 then here xi1 equal to 0 xi2 equal to 0 xi3 equal to 1 but if we put the value of xi3 then it will be infinite here we call the extended complex plane the image of the point n will be infinity that is extended complex plane but without the point n that is s minus n goes to r2 it will the one to one correspondence between s minus n and r2 but if we add r2 with infinity that is extended complex plane then it will be cancelled and s is s or that is all the points on s will one to one correspondence of xy plane that is stereographic projection means the one to one correspondence between the all points on unit sphere with the all points of R2 or complex plane. Now we will introduce the complex valued function and its derivative. Then the necessary and sufficient condition of differentiation of complex variable Cauchy Riemann equation or CR equation. If we will start any complex valued function f from c to c, that is, we will introduce fz. fz is a complex valued function of complex variable. It will be u plus iv since fz the image of f will be complex number then it can be written as u plus iv that means u is a real part and v is the complex part here u is a real value function of two variable because u can be if z we will consider z will be x y then f x y equals to u x y plus i v x y u x y u x y means term u goes to u is a real value function from r2 to r that and same as v goes to r2 to So here partial derivative of u and v. By definition, the partial derivative of u with respect to x del u del x equal to limit h1 tends to 0. U is a double variable. So u x plus 
h1 y minus u x y by h1. It is the definition of partial derivative with respect to x of u. And same as the partial derivative of u with respect to y means limit h2 tends to 0 u x comma y plus h2 minus u x y by h2. So partial derivative will consider when the function is of two variable. If we consider f of two variable, then they are will be the partial derivative of f with respect to x and y. Let the function f is differentiable at any point z equal to z0. Then f is differentiable if we if f is differentiable at z equal to z0 then by definition f dash z0 equals to limit h tends to 0 f z0 plus h minus f z0. Here a is a complex number because it is a two variable z0. So h is a complex number and if we consider h will be h1 plus i h2 then it will be the complex number. Now since if z is differentiable at the point z equal to z0 so along any line h tends to 0 it will be same. So if we consider the line x axis then h2 equal to 0 but h1 tends to 0 as h tends to 0. Then along x axis f dash z 0 will be limit h tends to 0 h equal to h1 plus i h2 h2 equal to 0 and h1 tends to 0 and f z0 plus h1 minus f z0 by h1 here limit h1 tends to 0 h1 f z0 z0 means x0 plus i y0 z0 is a complex number z0 can be written as x0 plus i y0 so x0 plus h1 comma y0 minus f x0 y0 it is the same as this definition that is it will be written as f is a partial derivative of with respect to x at that point again if we consider the line of y axis then f dash f dash z will be then h1 equals to 0 and h2 tends to 0 then f dash z0 equals to limit h2 tends to 0 f of z0 plus i h2 j2 since h equal to h1 plus i h2 h1 equals to 0 then h equals to i h2 minus f z0 by i h2 is equal to 1 by i limit h2 tends to 0 f x0 y0 plus h2 minus f x0 
y0 by h2 it is same as this definition limit h2 to h2 0 f x0 plus y0 plus h2 minus f x0 y0 by h2 that is it will be 1 by i f y z0 since it is given that f is differentiable at the point z0 so f dash z0 this and this will be same f x z0 equals to 1 by i f y z0 since f x equals to u plus i v f equals to so f x equal to u x plus i v x and f y equals to u y plus i v y then f x z 0 u x plus i v x equals to 1 by i f y z 0 that is u y plus i v y if we multiply i u x plus i v x equals to u y plus i v y it will be minus v x my plus i u x equals to u y plus i v y if we compare the real and imaginary part of both sides, then we get ux equals to vy and uy equals to minus vx. It will be called the CR equation. It is the necessary condition for differentiability of f at the point z0 but it is not the sufficient condition ux equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx it will be same the condition fx z0 equals to 1 by i fy z0 it is the necessary condition of differentiability of f at that point z0 now we will we will introduce an example of the function complex function. If we consider if z equal to z bar, z bar means the conjugate of z that is x minus i y, where u plus i v then u equals to x and v equals to minus y here ux equals to 1 and vy equals to minus 1 but cr equation means ux equal to vy here ux not equals to vy so we can conclude that if z equal to z bar is not differentiable at any point because here CR equation is not satisfied so if z is not differentiable at any point. Now we will introduce the complex condition of CR equation. that is z equals to x plus i y here and z bar equals to x minus i y then 2x equal to z plus z bar that is x equal to z plus z bar by 2 and 2y equals 
2 i y means if we subtract 2 i y equals to z minus z bar then y equals to z minus z bar by 2 i here del x del z bar equals to half and del y del z bar equal to minus 1 by 2i it will be written as plus i into half now f can be differentiate del f del z bar then del f del x by chain rule into del x del z bar plus del f del y into del y del z bar del f del x del x del z bar means half plus del f del y del y del z bar i half so half del f del x plus i del f del y if we put the value of del f del x that is partial derivative of f with respect to x then we can find half del f del x means ux plus i v x plus i del f del y means u y plus i v y that is half u x minus v y plus i into v x plus u y since the cr equation is u x equal to v y and v u y equals to minus v x then half u x minus v y will be 0 plus i into v x plus u y will be 0 so we can get del f del z equals to 0 then the cr equation will be f z bar equals to 0 for this function f z equal to z bar if we partial derivative of f with respect to z bar then f z bar equal to 1 is not equals to 0 so f z equal to z bar is not differentiable no one now we will introduce the entire function any complex function f for any complex function f from c to c if we choose any point z equal to z0 then f will be called the entire function then f will be called the entire function if it is analytic on the entire complex plane analytic means if z we choose z equals to z0 then f is analytic at the point z equal to z0 if f is differentiable at z0 and for some neighborhood of z0 all the point of this neighborhood 
f will be differentiable such z0 they are exist and neighborhood of z0 for all the points this neighborhood f will be differentiable then we call f is analytic at z0 such as f is analytic whole complex plane then we call f is a entire function 